Oh, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the Baltic Campaign. Last time we provided uh, suppression of enemy air defenses for a strike by F-111s on a Russian airfield and we faced um, some pretty stiff resistance, but we made it through. So let us see what today's operation will be. Overkill. Panavias Air Base, date September 15th, local time 1300 hours, weather clear. Situation. S-16s are attacking a depot near the border town of Ustoshika. Mission objective, fly a combat air patrol over the target area, attacking and engaging any Russian aircraft you encounter. Threat suppression data, ground opposition, SA-6s, ZSU-23-4s, air opposition, possible SU-35s. Ground intelligence, support aircraft, AWACS. So it looks like we are Lithuanian once again. And it looks like uh, we got... Four A-10s and two F-16s. Really? They gave the U.S. F-16A? Why? <laughs> like, we didn't really use them anymore back in 2000. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so, uh... Oh, we do not have the option to select our plane. So, to that end, we will, uh deal with what we're given here. Uh, first off, let's get an IR pod. We have a lot more fuel, so there's no need to take a tank. And then we can take, um, oh, we can't take those. Can we take jamming pods? Oh, we can take bombs. <laughs> oh, man, that's... I can't put targeting pods there. I can't put jamming pods. I can't put anything useful there. That's unfortunate. Um, I do want to take... I can't put AMRAMs there? Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Honestly, the targeting pod's not that much, so I think what we're going to do here is take a jamming pod on the center line. We'll take... Okay, but can I fit an AMRAM anywhere now? And the answer is no. What the hell? <laughs> okay, we can do that at least. Alright, so, uh, we won't be able to queue it, but that's fine, so, I guess this is going to be our loadout, so, your fighter kind of sucks in, in this game. I figured with more slots we'd be able to do more, but, um, and actually, you know what? You seriously can't fit. Like, I want to call bullshit on the fact that we can't fit these anywhere. I'd rather take the F flare pod. But yeah, we can't fit AMRAMs anywhere else either, so... I guess this is going to be our loadout, so, uh... If I really wanted to go crazy and make that jamming pod, and probably make these chat flare, but... It'd just make us a close-in dogfighter, but... I think we're going to have to stick with this, so, uh, let's dive in. Alright, let's get started here. If we spread out our radar, we can see, uh, some definite threats, Su-35, MiG-31. Uh, so, we're going to... Burn a lot of fuel, but we're gonna try to get in close to them. 
but let's quickly gain altitude so at least our fuel consumption is more efficient. Oh wow, that was fast. <laughs> Oh, he's already out of fuel, too? Well, now I won't feel so bad if he gets shot down. And let's dive in on him. We're almost through our, uh... Our first run. Yep, there goes the chat pod. Looks like our wingman is already moving on. Alright, we're going to... Uh... Oh, is his fuel efficiency so low? Oh, he might have Amarins left, actually, so... Let's do a sweep and see who he should, uh... Here we go. Take him out. I'll take these guys. Well, there are a lot of them. So we're gonna have to, let me, we're gonna run through our, uh, all right, let's, uh, Oh wow, it's a miracle. We haven't taken any damage yet. Although these guys should not be giving me this much trouble. Out of chat, cool. Unfortunately, the SAM site doesn't seem to be of the best quality. I think we're just out of range of that SAM site. Though he's uh, writing shots he can't cash, <laughs> as it were. Oh, 
both clipped each other, I clipped them better. Hopefully our wingman at least absorbed uh, a bunch of shots, uh, radar guided shots from those MiG 29Ms. And then we got the. Uh, we still have the MiG 31s to deal with. As well. There you are. I think this is the last guy. So, let's take him out. Oh, that's our mission, really? I mean... I guess I shouldn't argue, but, uh... Oh, we got the A-10s seem to be doing fine. Uh, it seems like the F-16s are doing fine. And... Uh, I only have... Well, I do have lots of enemies on radar, but... If that's our mission, that's our mission. Mission silent we go. Because uh, we have no munitions left. We are... We are empty. We are also very empty. And it looks like even the uh, A-10s and F-16s are on their way back, so... God, I was worried we were after... Okay, so Delta is being protected. Which I'm inclined to let the F-16s deal with. So we'll, uh... Oh, they're only regular make point. Okay, never mind. They, uh, we actually have protections against those. Wait. What? Oh, Sam site. Okay. I was like, wait, these are regular make 29s The game doesn't give them missiles. At least our radar guided ones. But so these guys, if we tie them up a little bit, the F-16 should be able to shoot them down, so that's kind of the attack strategy here. And I'm getting really nervous about not having chaff. I think our jammer is going to be a bit of an MVP. <laughs> here, okay, they're moving off now. Uh, one's taking a hit. I think they might both be dead already. Oh, no, there's one. Alright, let's dodge that. Alright, the F-16s took care of them. No need for us to even dirty our hands. We'll just range out the RWR, make sure there's nothing, uh... Put the jammers back on. That's a little SAM sights, but uh, we should be good to go. Yeah, we still have 4,000 pounds of fuel, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how my wingman was <laughs> running out so quickly. Maybe he had a fuel leak, but uh, on the flip side, the game doesn't really model opponent damage for the AI like it does for us, though. So. Dude, we got a nice active airbase here. I think we'll, uh, bring our throttle down a bit. And let's line up our approach.
there's some music we all love it and enjoy. Alright, so we're almost on the ball here. There we go. There we go. Now that we've finally done this, we can control our descent with our throttle. And touchdown. All right, so now we can just taxi off the active runway here. when I'm not panicking about vehicles. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they have collision physics for each other, though. Oh, shit. Which I suppose kind of makes sense. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, you run into one... Or rather, if your hitbox runs into their hitbox at even one knot, boom, you're dead. <laughs> so unfortunately, there's not a lot of uh, realism or modeling of the uh, of collisions in this game. Which, granted, to be fair, 99% of the collisions you're going to get into <laughs> as a military pilot will be instantly fatal. If you do get into a collision, that is. Or at least instantly fatal to your aircraft. Wow, just look at that size difference between the... I think that's a C5. Oh, that's not even a C5, that's a C17. Shit. Look at that size disparity, though, between the AC-130 and the C17. I mean, goddamn. I mean, you look at how big... Really? Apparently we have a Lithuanian AC-130 here. Ah, damn good game. But, uh... And the Lithuanian C-17. I think the developers are getting a little lazy here, but... We can see, uh... The A-10s and the F-16s should be following us back. Uh, so we can see if any of them are going to decide to land or not. I think that's the flight. Okay, it looks like the F-16s are continuing on patrol because I think they just went to the southeast. But the A-10s are uh, popping overhead now. And it looks like they are indeed entering the landing pattern, so we can wait a few more minutes, see uh, see where they decide to park, since we don't have our wingmen to, to wait on. And hey, at least these guys are American. <laughs> uh, this campaign, like all the other campaigns are okay, you know, it's a really good, like, I think I've said before, but obviously my favorite is the Ukraine campaign just because of, uh, you know, the cutscenes and stuff and all the extra work they put into that. Like, I think you could combine the Ukraine campaign with all the details of the ATF campaigns, you know, with the vehicles at airbases moving around and stuff, or even just 
heels moving around in the carrier, you know, that would be like top notch campaign. But then you get to this campaign and like three quarters of the aircraft belong to the wrong faction, so. Alright, so it looks like they're going to line up on this side. There's the third A-10 coming in. Oh, he's going to park next to us. Cool. And the fourth A-10 should be coming in in no time. So yeah, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> There's a disparity in aircraft. Oh, man. And he's going over the other side, which is fine. There we go. So, there's our lineup for today's mission. So, at this point, uh, unless those are the F 16s coming in. I think we can uh, call it quits for today. Debrief, Panavaeus Air Base, date September 15th, mission overkill, resolution success. You gave those Russian fighters a fine dusting. So we took 5% damage, our wingman's dead, or 10 targets. Yeah, so we had 7 kills, our wingman had 2, so I presume the F-16s took care of the last one. Um, we had... We launched 12 missiles, of which half hit, a third failed, and uh, looks like one or two were spoofed. So yeah, six hit, three failed. Uh, wait, these percentages don't add up. Or no, they do. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's four. Sorry, I uh, got my math confused. Yeah, so six hit, four failed, and two were spoofed. There we go. Our wingman launched four missiles, of which three hit and one failed. And then we had a 34% hit percentage on our gun. We had 20 missile launches against us, air-to-air -air missiles that is, of which one failed, two were jammed, and the rest were spoofed. Our wingman had three missile launches against him, of which two hit and one failed. Now, SAM launches just all failed, so that wasn't even our jammer. <laughs> so, yeah, our jammer didn't do as much as I had hoped, and uh, one of the MiG 21s grazed us with some uh, cannon fire. But we made it through, and we don't have to repair that Eurofighter since it was forced upon us. So, we can finish repairing our Gripen, and with that, Russian air power should be severely reduced at this point. I mean, we just took out like half a squadron of uh, MiG-21s there, not to mention another set of SU-35s, of which they've got to be running out of those by now. I sure hope so, because they're a fucking pain in the ass, but um, I know it sucks having my own tactics thrown back at me with missile spam, but <laughs> in any case, uh, hopefully we can liberate Estonia soon and push the Russians out and get them the sue for peace. So, with that, Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then.